all the cards you see here, this is what sold within the past 24 hours. And in this video, we're going to go through the sales and show you guys my process on how I get these cards packed and ready to be shipped using eBay's standard envelope service. Even though the profits are small, I love what I do. Right now, we're going to quickly run through what cards I sold so that you have an idea of how much I was able to sell these cards for. As you can see, we sold a lot of common cards, but then also some pretty cool cards as well. Some of them we were able to make a profit on and some of them we took a small loss on. But when you're dealing with low end sports cards, sometimes you just got to take the L. But my goal has always been to try to sell in volume to help offset those losses. And now it's time to print out these shipping labels. I recently switched to a thermal label printer about a month ago, and it's the best investment you can make if you plan on selling cards in high volume. It's a huge time saver. You could find these on Amazon, and to be honest with you, I think they all function well. I don't have a particular brand of choice or preferred brand when it comes to these thermal label printers. Now, I haven't been able to print out standard labels through the eBay app. As far as I know, I can only do so through the desktop site. And here you can change the weight and dimensions or the shipping service if you choose to use something other than the standard envelope. And when it comes to selling raw cards, three ounces can go a very long way. I can usually ship up to two top loaders for 53 cents. Now, when I sell more than two cards to one person, I usually use a card saver. And through that, I could put about five cards into one card saver. And now we'll hit print and you'll see how fast the thermal label printer prints. I'm telling you, this saves a lot of time. Before getting a thermal label printer, I used to spend so much time and ink printing out labels through my inkjet printer and cutting them out and using tape to tape them onto the envelopes. And now it's as simple as peeling them off and sticking them onto the envelopes. Okay, so now that we have our label, let's go ahead and use this card to show you guys how I pack these cards to be shipped in plain white envelopes. So the first thing that I usually grab is painter's tape. And the whole thing that I wanna do is to grab a painter's tape and create a little flap to make it easy for the buyer to take off the tape. So they can just do that and just peel it off. But also we wanna make sure that the card stays within the cup holder and doesn't slide out. Next, I take a plain white piece of paper and I fold it into threes to be able to fit inside the envelope. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the card, I'll put it in the middle. Now, if you're shipping two cards, I like to put two cards uh, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then tape it down. But in this case, we're only going to be using the one card. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the middle, and then we're going to take painter's tape and tape each side down. This is to help so that the card doesn't move around inside the envelope. And once that's done, I'll just fold it up and grab my white envelope, put it inside, seal it up, and put the label on top of it. Now you'll notice that the envelope that I picked to choose is the longer ones because it allows me to fit two cards within it. Now other people like to use other types of shipping methods or other types of envelopes. There's some people that like to use cardboard envelopes for added protection, which works as well. You just wanna make sure you stay within the parameters of the eBay standard envelope service. So how much did I end up making in total? Well, in terms of total sales, I made $62.58. After taxes and fees and shipping costs, as well as the cost of goods, I only ended up making a whopping $9.69 in net profit. This is the reality when it comes to selling low-end sports cards, which is why volume is so important. And to many, this may not seem worth it. And it's really up to you to decide whether you want to go through this route as it's not easy. But I can tell you one thing though, Switching over to the eBay standard envelopes has really helped increase my sales. And I know a lot of people have concerns with using that service. And if you want to know more about those concerns, you can check out this video right here.